the magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment. That's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. It's Tottenham Hotspur. They take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. Hello, a warm welcome and this is the... ...been here in North London. I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. It is Tottenham Hotspur facing Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Robertson. So, a Real Madrid corner. Taken short. So deflection, and it will be a throw in. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Martinelli. Now with Robertson. Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. De Bruyne. And crossed in there. Well, good hands there from the keeper. Karim Benzema. Well, that's a super ball over the top. It's a weighted pass. Could be. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Simons. Given away by Real Madrid. Viet. Acuna. Zane in the middle. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. And just content to clear that one away. It will be a throw in. Could be a chance to break here. Camavinga. Martinelli. De Bruyne now. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Joao Cancelo. Spurs finding space on the flank. But the danger averted for now. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out.
Joao Cancelo. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the... Into the second half then, and Real doing the chasing. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. danger here as he runs at them cuts it back can they slot it home and well positioned to clear and a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up Marquinhos on to Benzema Sané well looking to increase the lead but not accurate enough there yeah that was half a chance to extend their lead as you mentioned but they couldn't quite take it could they Well, we're into the final half hour. De Bruyne. Out of play. And a Spurs throw in forthcoming. Substitution for Real Madrid. Number 15, Sadio Mane. Florian Wirtz on to Benzema Joao Cancelo Sané and the keeper more than equal to the task well another wonderful save to add to his portfolio Giovanni Di Lorenzo now with Mares. Mares. Now with Lewandowski. Is this the moment? Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Sadio Mane in the middle. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. And Laporte in the way. Mane can he play it in not really the ideal clearance cutting the ball back 
And terrific defending to stop them progressing. Well, the final whistle is almost upon us. Tottenham have put so much into the game and they have the lead. Stuart, interested in your thoughts on their overall performance? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general... Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. And there goes the final whistle. The overall story is a happy one for Tottenham because they get the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserved their victory. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. And he fully deserved to score that winning goal.